let me see what y'all saying before I head off of my little messy bone. Y'all know I was not prepared. I just felt it. Support your movement thing. I don't even know if I'm doing a movement. I just, I don't even, I don't know if it's, I think differently. I just, I just know that we can do better. And I'm passionate enough about it to put myself on the line. I'm learning to be more of, um, to have a tough skin. I'm very sensitive. And I'd be telling JR and Anton, I was like, well, I'm a, I'm a lady. What? Don't be looking at the comments, Courtney. And I'd be like, well, I do sometimes. <laughs> so I'm, I'm learning, but uh, y'all on my struggle and journey too. So, but I'm learning, but I'm not stopping. And I told y'all before, I ain't stopping. All of us can do men and women. Absolutely. Come on, Lauren, what did you talk about here? They're rich on their own or hello. Now, Lauren, you was with me last night when I was I was on about five thousand last night. I was like, Cam up. And then I did that. And of course, me being loud and not being ladylike, I was masculine and I was a man. And I'm like, guess what? There's different sides of me. I'm not always uh, primer and proper. I like football. What do you think I'm going when I go to my Titans game? How I am? How you think I am? I'm screaming, cussing with my Michelob Ultra. I'm watching football. I like to shoot. I'm a gun gun enthusiast. A lot of people probably don't know that. I like to shoot. Shout out Adam. That's not the most prim and proper, but I know how to cook and I know how to clean. I'm multifaceted, but I'm very comfortable in my femininity. I'm very comfortable being a woman. But when my Titans play, y'all going to get some cuss words. I'm spirited. I'm country. I fish. I hunt. <laughs> don't, don't judge me. Uh, yeah, I mean, well, my, I can't wait to football season. Y'all said, what? Y'all y'all ain't going to touch this squad that um, the science guy. Come on, Derek Henry, shut up. Throw me a ticket, Derek. All right. Um, I don't know. I haven't. Uh, um, the do better crowd. Well, we need it. Lauren is Lauren. You becoming like my buddy. I don't know if you know that, but you you got a friend in me, child. I'm about to bring you up to the to ten of key to holler at your girl. Um, I don't know. I can't. I'm not, I won't go back to everything. But if y'all too bad the times ain't going nowhere. Uh, false. I'm cap cowboys. Some you know you you need to go play in traffic. So. If anyone has questions or, I mean, if you want to cam up, if not, that's fine. It's brunch time. Oh, I got salmon. Oh, shit, hold on. As I'm talking, I'm cooking. Hold that, please. But if, <laughs> like, I'm, like, slick cooking. And y'all walking through my house. Oh, snap. I'm chit-chatting with y'all and burning up, talking about I know how to cook. And I'm up here burning salmon. Oh, okay, it ain't that bad. Okay, let me go back to my office. <sighs> so, if anybody want to cam up, that's good. Any other questions? If not, I'm probably going to, like, deuce out. Eat my, my lunch that I made. <sighs> I like to do a better movement. Ah! I mean, that might be something to do it better movement. That kind of sound calm. We got to come up with another name. God bless you. I don't. Black and salmon. Well, I do a honey encrusted salmon. So my salmon is a little bit. And I told you I didn't took cooking classes. So I'm trying to try out my stuff. Tonight I'm doing a sea bass and we'll see how that works. Try. Oh, Lauren, well, maybe that's, okay. Let's see. Hey, there go my best friend.
Brenda didn't know she was my best friend. Hey, I'm you going to a bridal beautiful. shower. Thank you. I, I have two events today, so I, I did put on a face. So just FYI. Girl, let, let me find out you're out here modeling. <laughs> I cannot. Thanks, girl. So You look gorgeous. I, okay, go ahead, girl. Um, so I was on the live yesterday, and I agreed with everything that you were saying. I think the perspective that her name was Ashley, I think she was coming from is mm -hmm. the younger women are the ones that need the help, right? Like the mm -hmm. 20 year olds. <laughs> the issue with that with them is they don't like to listen to yeah. older people or just mm -hmm. an older perspective. And she's like, well, maybe can the mess how the message is delivered be more palatable, right? And so mm -hmm. I think the way Anton, you, you know, JR, whomever delivers a message is like, no, you're going to get this message how it's received. And so, for example, I think the reason why the younger women always call into Kevin Samuel's show is when he, when they give their perspective, obviously it's way off, right? Like some of them are just yeah. crazy. Is, but, yeah, we'd be like, what? Exactly. So then he, but he, what he does is he takes it and he asks them like a, a list of questions like, mm -hmm. Tell me this tell me this tell me this and then what they find themselves in is like this web of like oh shoot like i done got caught up and yeah you right it don't make sense and then at the yeah. end of the live they realize that i do need to change i am going to be lonely forever and right. i am you know what i mean so i think from from your perspective because i'm like yo courtney is spitting facts but unfortunately they're not mature enough they don't understand mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that you know i do need to think that way but instead it's like you need a man. It's like, well, let's tell them why they need a man. Let's ask them. So, you know, when you go out to eat, you front your bill, you know, and at the end of the week, are you scounging for change? Are you looking through your couch to find quarters? Like, what are you doing? Right. We got to, I think we, and, I, and I'm like, on your, I'm on your team. So I'm like, we, we got to like send this message that um, they have to come to that realization themselves. It's just like when we were younger and your parents would be like, you need to put on a coat because you're going to get pneumonia. And you're like, girl, like, I'm good. I'm like, saying this was like when people yeah. tell you what you need to do and how you need to think, they don't listen. That's when they tune out because they think yeah. they got answers. So I understood where she was coming from. Is like, well, this is how the younger generation thinks. So mm -hmm. I, like last night, I was like, okay, so how can I craft my message? Because I'm, I'm, I'm fairly young and yeah. obviously like inexperienced because I haven't been married. Yeah. I have not like a relationship that has had me like close to marriage at all so I'm like accepting the fact that I have a lot to learn mm -hmm. that's the difference between me and the other right. <laughs> women that that... You're, right well let me ask you this because how did you how did you hit that where it was like okay you know what I got a lot to learn because I think on the last last night she was like you know they're not wanting to listen. They are looking at these IG and thinking like that's the way to go. And then when I try to show them something different, you know, they're not receiving it. So then yeah. it's like, well, how can they receive it? Yeah. So for me, and I'm I'm not gonna like put this particular influencer or mm -hmm. this woman out there, but this particular woman has a lot of influence and a lot of followers that like admire her to the point where it's just like what what brand of toothpaste do you brush your teeth mm -hmm. with because I want that kind of thing like yeah they aspire to be like her but I think the difference is is like you know I would probably ask whomever is trying to be like her like you know is she happy and I'm like I don't know exactly so why are you trying to aspire to be like her like does she post her man does she even have a man like these are things that and like you can see she's stressed her edges is falling out <laughs> like is this who you really want to be like yeah she out here showing you that she grinding but this, she ain't sleeping. She ain't getting her beauty rest. Is she out here getting wrinkles? Like, is this right. you want to age quicker? You know what I mean? So it's just like, we need to, like, ask them these things. It's like, what you see on the surface, like, we can put anything on social media. We can lie. We can put whatever we want on social media. Right. Um, and not even know if it's true. And so yeah. that's the thing is, our younger generation is falling for this false narrative. And I think we just need to take them through, like, the a why. Like, every time they say something, well, why do you think that? How do yeah. you see that? And unfortunately, like, just like when you're younger and you're three, four or five years old, mm -hmm. they get into that, well, why, why can't I touch this? Why is this? Why is that? Like, right. we have to, unfortunately, talk, walk them through. In this well, let, let me say this, Lauren, <clears throat> because um, <clears throat> I was a big proponent of Derrick Jackson. 
when I listened to him, I was, I got empowered. I was like, that's right. I'm good. I feel good about myself. Yes. Come on, Derry Jackson. I'm going to listen to you every day. Mm -hmm. And then here comes Kevin Samuels. And it was something completely different. Mm -hmm. And I realized, I was like, man, I, I'm listening to this Derek Jackson guy, but shit, my life is still slow. And then I hear another perspective that, you know, that sounded off to me. And then I read a Shiraz Ali book. And I was like, man, I, you know, I was able to, I listened to two different things and saw that oh man, I don't know if 20 year olds would be able to differentiate the difference. So I think that's what I'm trying to get. But I listened, I was like, man, it's Derek Jackson. And then what the, this, this mm -hmm. Steve Harvey book today, I'm still keep getting the same results, even though I'm mm -hmm. listening to them and I'm reading the books, I'm listening to the movies. And then with him, it kind of changed and changed my my thought, changed my life, changed how I date, changed who I've dated. So that's why I think I'm trying to say is that there's not a other perspective that women are getting. So at least we can give some of these women a, a different perspective. It, I'm not hearing a perspective from women that said, "Hey, I was you." At 20, let me tell you, honey, you're not going to be cute that long. You hit 30, these men going to be looking at you a different type of way. Right. I think, too, I got to that point because I was frustrated, right? Yeah. I, it's like the definition of insanity when you keep doing the same thing. And expecting different results. Exactly. And I, I got to that point. So I think maybe they just need to get to that point of, like, here I Because I, I am. I'm about to be 32 in February. Mm -hmm. And... I'm still single, right? Like, that's the thing. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I just, I just think that they, yeah, they have to get to that point. But I think we can't be like the doing your finger like this. Like you, you got to think this way because they're not gonna yeah. think that. Way, you know. I agree, and I, I think for me, I'm really trying yeah. to come to perspective of I'm that's trying to tell you because I fucked it up. And I'm giving you my life experience. Like, I'm not pointing the finger at you. At the end of the day, it's, you know, three fingers pointing at me. And I'm saying, hey, y'all, <laughs> hey, you can do a lot better than Mama Sita did. So that's what I'm trying to get. But it's all a learning experience. I'm new to this. I don't know what I'm getting myself into, Lauren. You probably don't know what you're getting yourself into. At all. I, don't. I can't okay. hear you, girl. No, at you all. don't. Well, don't. get ready. Get ready, child. Yeah. So anyway, so. all right. Well, you look absolutely gorgeous. Now I gotta go brush my hair. Listen, I was looking dusty and rusty yesterday. I saw the comments <laughs> like she needs to take the hoodie off, brush her hair. Well, y'all, my hair is brushed. Yeah, come Listen. on, and she, and, come on, hair. Let me Listen. find out your hair is down to the boo. <laughs> I just Let needed to wash out. a flat iron. Listen. Listen, people was girl. coming for me, but one thing I do know how to do was clean up. So, okay, honey, the girl, can, <laughs> I can be a three and go to a good eight. Okay, <laughs> Courtney, this has been dope. I'm definitely gonna tune in anytime you go live. If yeah, you want to well, rant, I'm I here don't for know you. what, but I'm gonna chime in. And who knows, we might have to do a little something together, child. We, we do, we do. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I appreciate you so much. Like I said, you're yeah. kind of my friend in, in my mind. I'm saying, Court, saying. <laughs> All right. All right. Enjoy your day. You too. Bye, beauty. Bye. I love her. Oh, my God. She is so dope. Shout out to Anton. He introduced me to her. And she's just gorgeous and just full of life and just brought me joy. All right. Well, I guess I probably won't bring anybody on. I don't want to keep y'all and my salmon getting cold. Mm, yeah. And FYI, because I know it's, it's good seeing that, we do need to see Black women getting together. Not all this love and hip-hop where we fighting. No, we can't have hard discussions, but be respectful. 
Oh, for sure. Oh, we're gonna post this. I'm giving it to JR and Anton for sure. But um man, we got to see these. We have to see even with Kevin Samuels, he talks about image and how our image is important. Well, our image is important, but when are we gonna show images of really good black women? When are we gonna show really good images of really good black men? When are we gonna show images of black women getting together and we not fighting, cussing each other out, being ghetto bonnets? When are, it's so important, our image matters. So if we're, if marriage is the goal, then let's show women that are ready to be married. Let's give our men hope. If women want to get married, let's show images of good men. They're saying, this is just what I want. Let us see it. How are we gonna change if we don't physically see it? Cause sometimes we don't see it in our homes. Our homes are broken. And a lot of the things that we see, and it's sad, but it's true, is on TV. It's on social media. We got to change that image of us. We got to give these young girls alternatives. It ain't about you doing a slut walk and thinking that your sexuality is for display. And that you can do anything with your, your poom poom. No, you respect that and you can't. And let's show women that are respecting themselves to show you another completely way that you're able to live your life and be respectable. And not out here being disrespected because at the end of the day, you being on only fans is going to make you lonely. Hmm. Let's see who said men are looking for actions, not hope. Hope was to go. Man, Alan, if you don't chill out, if you don't chill out, because that's the, the negativity that men that red pill rage are doing, and it's disgusting. If you don't think women are putting in the work, I went to the gym two days ago <laughs> and I saw a lot of black women in there. They'll have you like black women ain't working out. So if you don't shut up with that is action, we are showing us what are you doing? What are you doing to be great? What are you doing to support your black? I'll wait. Probably just trolling on on social media saying how bad black women are. But what are you doing? What what makes you a good man? I'll wait. Hmm. Yeah. Last night I did snap off on somebody. I'm not even going to lie. I snapped off on him because he's been a troll for months and just been disgusting. And sometimes you don't, a lot of people don't get the opportunity to address a troll. But I did and I took that opportunity. I did. And I was told, Courtney, stop going hard. And I said, well, you know, God ain't done with me yet, okay? But I did because I can't stand grown men that are wanting a type of caliber woman but will troll and have so disdain for women but think they deserve something better. Don't know good woman want to troll. Ain't no good woman wanting a man that's just always posting about how black women are bad and bad and sad. Ain't no good woman gonna come your way. That negative energy is not gonna bring anything positive to you. You attract what you are. You can talk bad about black women all you want and you're gonna keep getting black, bad black women because your energy is super dark and negative. So shout out to that troll that I... <clears throat> checked yesterday i don't see him out here now because i shall never check him again <laughs> oh alan getting mad mad you got all that from action speaks louder than words alan honey if you don't go to sleep 
women are put in action. Just kind of, you know, just go night night. Does anybody else want to come on? Oh. Okay. I'll take somebody else. Yo, yo. Hey, what up, Sue? Uh, what's shaking? Hey, darling. How are you? I'm all you right. You came back on with me. Actually, I was just listening to the conversation. With me and Lauren? Yeah, and then I got a phone call, so I oh. kind of missed it. You missed I came back in. Spill. No, I caught a lot of that. That's the reason why I wanted to jump on. I, Save I, that for your show, sister. Oh, no. I, oh, I'm going to make this a show. Oh, okay. Because, you know, I, that talk needs to live on forever. I, you feel okay. me? Okay. Well, was I saying anything bad? Because I, I am yeah, going to save this. I'm going to say that because I think this needs to be a show. But I just feel like I had it on my mind and before I forget or whatever. Okay, you want me to give you the professional saying. critique? You want me to give you the professional critique? Yeah. In my opinion? As 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 a see now you automatically assume it's gonna be bad. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm waiting. I love the part that you said about the gap. I love the part where you can actually see that you're frustrated. And you, you can feel the emotion. That's, I think that's what draws people to your show. Mm -hmm. it, it just feels genuine. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. I was actually cooking, too, uh, by the what way. What you over there cooking? <laughs> I'm over here burning salmon. What you doing? <laughs> Did you burn it for real? No, I didn't burn it. It was a oh, okay. I was like, oh, I forgot I got another one. Okay. I know. My little one, I put him down for a nap. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm making his lunch. Uh... And you know, I nibble while I'm cooking. I do the same thing on my way. Yeah, and then when you get done, you're full. Oh, so, and I don't eat. D yeah, you don't exactly. eat. Exactly. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I was saying was all good things. Your message is your message. And never let anybody change the way you approach your message. It yeah. is what it is. You put it out there. I look at it as, like I said before, your show for a lot of people is therapy. Yeah. Because there's a lot of things that they can relate to in regards to you, JR, Anton, Rilla, Kay, and any other guest that comes through. Like uh, my, my man, uh, I think he's from New York. That's what I get the Bolo. sense of. Bolo. Yeah. Bolo yeah. Yeah. I got a lot of friends in New York, so I, 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 I totally understand where he's coming from and his, his perspective. But yeah, if you're going to make this a show, that's good. But my whole point was, man, save this good content. I know, but these are conversations I'm going to continue to have. And I think, you know, I really like interviewing. Like, you know, I'm trying to get into that. I don't know why it's been kind of passionate you get, to me. But I like it. Well, I think it's the way you carry yourself. I think, mm -hmm. I think it's the way you carry yourself and you present yourself. You ask good questions. You push back when pushback is needed. Sometimes you give people a pass, but I understand why. Like you felt some type of way about last night, you know. Um, I was joking. Well, all I, women I, you have, know, all women have I, other we'll, sides. We'll have to talk about that on the sidebar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so aggression doesn't diminish your femininity. Yeah, being passionate doesn't diminish you being a woman. Well, see, okay. I, well, I'm glad you say that because. You're going to say, quit looking in comments. I know. But it, you know, when I am passionate, when I'm like, I like, I got to say it. What are you going to say, it, girl? You know, it's like, yeah. she is a masculine today. She is a, she See, is it's a not, it's, act according to 2010. And I'm like, no, I just, I freaking, I, I, I don't know. But you, do, just, but, you, but you do realize, according to 2010, is a part of Courtney 2021. Yeah, of course it is. So why are you worried about that? I'm, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's called oh, it's called Phil. growth. It's called it's yeah. called growth evolution. No, actually, I don't know why you say the Doctor Phil. I just look at things from the very. I wasn't watching the comments. Uh, ha, 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 ha. I have no idea what they said. It really don't care. 
I'm just saying. I, I, and you know what? Let me say why, because, I mean, you, you're very level-headed. You're very soothing. And it's very easy just to shut up and just listen to you. Like, you have that um, about you. And mm -hmm. I think it's dope. I said, Jay, I was like, we got to put him on. But because, yeah, you have that. So a lot of people don't. But you have a But presence. you know why I have that, though, right? Because just like you, I have a story too. Just like you, I have a history. I have a background. Yeah. All yeah. the things that you talk about, from a male perspective, we go through similar things. We yeah. fuck up. We, we, we take that woman that, that was the good woman and don't treat her right. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's that, called life. That is. And I think what's unfair to the young lady we were talking to last night point mm -hmm. is they don't see it from our lens because they haven't been through that yet. Yeah. And they don't see that we're trying to help them not go through the things that we've both we been through. through. Uh, uh, yeah. And I think that's what, you know, I mean, your approach is clearly different than mine because I'm all like, y'all better stop it, please, Jesus. <laughs> no, no, that's my... It's, that, it's it, because I see, like, you know, and being when I was in my twenties, I didn't see the future. I saw what 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 was I. What was right saying. in front of you? Yeah, what was right now. in front yep. of me. And I I don't wish to go back. I feel like God put me here for a reason, and whatever He telling me to do, court court do it. Um, but yeah, but it's just like, man. Let me tell you, I can make your life a lot easier if you looked at mine and see how I made it a lot harder. But you need, well, you from the south. I am. You can lead the horse. Go ahead, finish it. Now go ahead. Oh, oh, I can lead the horse, but I can't make him a train. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> All you got to do is give them the route. Now, whether they yeah. take it or not, is entirely up to them, mm -hmm. and is up to their understanding and perspective. But trust me, you know this just as well as I do. Everything my mother said that was right, mm -hmm. and I didn't listen to. When it happened, that was the first thing I went back to. Damn, she told me that was gonna happen. She told me. So, Shoulda, woulda, so as long yeah. as as long as you put the message out there, regardless to if they get it today or they get it two years from now or six years from now, they're gonna eventually get it. Mm -hmm. And just like you were saying about the way our community was brought up, it was systemic on the men and the women's side. Because think about it. Public public housing, public assistance. The catch to that was, and it was by design, that the male could not be yeah, in the household. Yeah. So what ended up happening was, back in the days, the man would just leave until the people showed up. They did their inspection. They left. Yeah. The man came back home. Yeah, but now the man then left for three days and turned to a week and turned to a month. And now they're just not there, period. And what women decided to do <laughs> was accept those subsidies as opposed to building a family. Right. And but here's the thing, the men were going back and forth, but the idea they couldn't be married. They couldn't legally yeah. be bonded to a man. Yeah. Not even being yeah. in the home. They couldn't be married. Yeah, because so the second they got married, they lost broke. they lost everything. Yeah. Man, like I said, it's so systematic, but I think it's just important not to just say, man, women just out the blue just start saying men ain't shit. It wasn't out the blue. It was a lot of stuff that happened prior to that then turned into women having to be the head of the household. Like I said, it was with drugs. And then with the drugs, it came, well, we'll give you money because your man wasn't there, but you got to make sure a man don't ever stay there. So it was perpetuated where it, mm -hmm. it was better for you guys not to be there. It was better for us, you know, for a lot of, you know, low-income homes to have the men out where I can take care of my kids because I can't mm -hmm. go to school yeah. and work yeah. and take care of the kids. I can't do that. So me staying at home, being subsidized, it, it was easier. And then it perpetuated to make it just being easy and then mm -hmm. made us lazy. Of course. Boom. You just, that, was, that was the point I was about to make. You can look at this gen, gen, decade by decade and you can see 
each generation became more lazy yeah. and more content in the circumstances that they were in. Yeah. So I agree, or I agree with you 100% on that. And there's another point I wanted to make. It's, all, it's about learned behavior. Mm -hmm. The reason why I react and I do the things that I did in my younger days is because that's what I was programmed to do. That's what mm -hmm. I was taught. That's what I thought was nor normal. I, I, I was insensitive, uh, nonchalant, yeah. you know, uh, very sensitive to a point where I, and you know what, I'm, I'm honest enough to admit this now, just like you, mm -hmm. I didn't look at it as being sensitive. I looked at it as, hey, guess what? If I felt like you wasn't the one, even yeah. though you had 99% of the characteristics mm -hmm. and you had everything else going on, that 1% that, 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 that rubbed me or uh, how should I say, hurt my feelings? Mm -hmm. Boom, I'm gone. I'm, I'm the opposite direction. Now I'd have done something stupid to jeopardize that really good relationship that could have been built and, and fostered into something that was long lasting and, like you said, legacy. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm young. I'm like, not, I'm, well, not even, not even young. I'm just stupid. I'm just thinking, back, thinking about myself. And that's what the culture we live in right mm -hmm. now. And to parallel that, Back to what you were saying about the economy and all that. Think about the the the, the Muslim community. You got the small percentage of terrorists that 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 hate America. And do you think they just picked up a book one day and just said, "Hey, you know what? I, I, I no, this is how I feel no. now." And no, that's, they've again, been that's taught this since. Very, the, I mean, it's just. I mean, so it's learned I, behavior. Yeah, but here's okay. There's terror terrorists in every community, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So you got the KKK. You got. Mm -hmm. uh, now I will tell you about, the, a bit about the BLM. Now. Oh, I'm with you on that. I'm okay. with you on that. But okay. th th that's exactly where I was going with this. All right. of it is learned behavior from every segment of the population. Mm -hmm. A racist person doesn't realize they're racist because that's all they know. Yeah. A, a, a terror, a, a person who will strap a bomb to their chest walk into a restaurant and explode it, knowing they're going to kill themselves because they're thinking they're going to get to the other side and have 70 wives and paradise or whatever. They were taught that at the age of two. Yeah. It's normal lies to them. And as for the BLM, you got to look at our history too because we kind of foul when it comes to that because we all about the bag. We all about the money. You go in it for the right intentions and the second you hit that level of success and celebrity, now... You don't really care about the cause no more. You about the bread. Well, well, let me say this. And even let's just talk about like KKK. They haven't been exposed. What they see is on TV of us. Mm -hmm. So that's why I said it's important to give a mm -hmm. different um, perspective, different perspective mm -hmm. for black women. Because mm -hmm. a lot of stuff that these young girls are growing up, they might not see it in a home. So they're looking at TV, they're looking at Basketball Wives, they're looking at Housewives of Atlanta, they're looking at, you know, IG models, they're looking at all this, and what is their perspective? We have to give them something else. And that's what I think is making important, that's why I'm just like, come on, ladies, even the girl last night, you marry and you're happily married, you got to say something for us I agree not that. seeing it. I agree with so, that. Yeah, it's just about, dip, you know, showing different perspectives and... You know, all I can do but is you, my little part. I don't know what I was about to say, but you make. do you do understand your do. part is the most important because yeah. you ever heard of the the hundred monkey theory? Well, it was a study they did where they five monkeys jumping on the bed, but no. Uh, hey, I, I know about that too. I know about that too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I know about that too. <laughs> No, it, it, it was it was something they did back in uh, I think the forties mm. and fifties, where they had radiated coconuts and they mm. taught one monkey how to wash the coconut so they can eat it, mm. and they and they said you know it was two, it was three, it was four. When it got to the one hundred monkey, all of them did it simultaneously. Mm -hmm. mm. So that's all it is. It's all about popular trends and cultures. Guess yeah. what? If our celebrities actually really, I ain't going to say give a shit, but if the celebrities <laughs> spoke out about certain things, 
and, and actually were more conscious or as you say woke yeah I, really, uh, I mean they are the most important influences to the younger generation somebody like you would be considered a hater somebody like you would be considered abrasive i mean we we, we know how people feel about that time you know <laughs> But, but, he, what but you know, thing about Anton, he says, you know, he's like I said last night. It's not about reaching everybody. Anton got his tribe. He got a tribe of folks that rock with him, and he does. But here's the thing: his message is so simple. He said something last night, and I was like, he's absolutely right. Mm -hmm. Guess what? They talk. You know, you talk about the high value men. We get in all these different yeah. categories and stuff like that. But it's very simple. It's always been that simple. Yeah. The dude that stood out in class, the dude that stood out in high school, college, the person who had that A personality, he got whatever he wanted. And women all want that type of person. They don't want no regular person. They don't want no average person. They want top tier. Mm -hmm. That's what they fantasize about. That's what they think about. That's what they. That's how they move. Their, their, their intentions is to get that type of dude. Now, now, if they end up with something else, I mean, it is what it is. It's but all all women, and I'm saying the absolute, mm -hmm. all women <laughs> want that extraordinary person. I ain't saying it. I know you're not. Uh, all women want that extraordinary person. All women want that person that it's like, damn, who is he? That, that, that's just, just simple. That's the reason why men do the things that they do to yeah. attract attention. That's well, why they put yeah. the likes on. The, well, the, 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 the men want it too. We want it different reasons. So like I said, we talk about hypergamy. Uh, hypergamy. hypergamy. So women yeah. want to look at a man and be like, oh, who is he? He walking in a room a little different. Oh, he driving up. That's what we look at. But a man mm -hmm. also want to you know, look at a woman like, who is she? But it's her looks. It's how she graces when she walks in. You know, so it's Everybody wants a who is that mm. person. Mm. Y'all do. Mm. Now, you guys understand that some of y'all can't get it. You'd be like, okay, I can't get that, but she rock with me, I, you know, because you guys are more logical. Women, we not. We still live in a fairy tale world that's just honest. Everyone, okay. if they could get I'm, a, I'm with you. I'm man, with you. Anyone, any man, blow, I'm with you. He walking in a room. Oh, uh, look at. No, okay, no, all right. She bad, but Keisha over here, she know how to make some good collard greens. I, I like that. And it's cool. Women be like, who is that? Oh, okay, he can help me pay some bills, but he 5'7". No, I might can get him a little better, though. Agreed. It's, it, those are facts. It's Men are more logical than us, and a lot of Agreed. us live in the, yeah. Actually, you know what? You made a good point that could have been brought up last night. Mm -hmm. All these women talking about they want they 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 boss chicks and all this, but they're looking for a man that that makes a certain amount of money to take care of them. If you're a but boss, if you're a boss, then you take care take care of your. Why are you worried about somebody buying you a bag or 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 or, or taking you on a trip? And I mean, you bosses. got it because they're not bosses; they're lying. Is lies. I agree. No, what I it is is it's social media. Woman on there talking about they make. Look, I watched Kevin Samuels, right? Of course, you know I do. Every single woman on there talking about they make six figures. Every single, every single one, I, every single one. All of them? Not, not, not one. Not, not, not one. Not, not, one not, don't. A, not a one makes fifty grand a year. Not a one make the average for a woman is thirty eight. You. <laughs> every single one. You made it. You made it. You, yeah, you made a very good point. You made a very fucking good point. Yeah, all of them. Wait a minute, they all rate all themselves a six, uh, uh, six or higher. They all make six figures. They all they've all been working on five the, times. Times, yeah, 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 yeah. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, we got a point there. Yeah, I like that. I, I like mean, that. I be like, man, these bras be lying. But yeah, you do understand this is social them. media, right? But that's what I said like, last night. Smoke and mirrors, like we. Yeah, this is fairy tale. Be, yeah, smoke and mirrors. All of them, mate. Every single one of them don't work. None of them work at Walmart. All of them got executive jobs. Okay, now that we said all this, 
this is the point where I said I was going to get you back last night. Oh. You know all this, right? Yeah. Why are you still worried about the comments? Uh, well, uh, look, okay. So last night. If you I know all these people are fake, all these people are perpetrating the fraud and they're not genuine, why take offense to what they say? That's not genuine either. Right. Okay. So I said, even last night, I, I, I wasn't getting it all the comments, right? Last night. No, I particular it. people. I, right. It was a particular person I got in because mm -hmm. he has yeah. trolled me for months. Mm -hmm. On the Facebook page, he makes posts about me every other day. Every single time that we go live, all he does is da da da, -da and he finally was on something that I could check him on. Mm -hmm. And so I took that opportunity. And you couldn't that. wait. I you couldn't, couldn't wait. Not. You was like, what? You like, man, there I you go the right poop. there. And the fact that he has, he has three different names that I know of that he goes by trolling, and he just... I couldn't wait. I couldn't. I couldn't wait. You're right. Because it's been yeah, five. Yeah. It, I, you I, do I, understand. I, 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 you I do. couldn't wait. You, I'm so, I couldn't wait. I couldn't I know. wait. You do understand. You you were in grammar school before, right? You know who you know who that person is, right? That's the that's the one that's in the playground that keep pulling on your hair because he like you. Uh, right. <laughs> but here's so the thing. I'm not so, in the so playground. You are. It's the fantasy land of social media. Well, I couldn't, I couldn't help myself, okay? And sometimes I just, y'all gotta let me, y'all gotta let me, y'all gotta know. let me sometimes, let me be. Yeah, let, you let, let you get loose, yeah. Sometimes let me get loose a little bit. Like, he has been trolling me on three different names completely. Like I said, making a whole post about me on the Facebook every single Thursday. He's, you ain't shit, like, it's always something in in on my my IG, YouTube, Facebook, for months, and I saw him on there, and I said, "Oh!" And then I figured out who he was and why he was doing it. So he's trying to start a platform, and what he's been trying to do is egg us on to get him online. To get, yeah, so he can, he can, and so he can make yeah. a video and do a reaction and say reaction, how trash yeah. we are. That's of what course. he tried to do. So once I figured his angle, that's why I checked mm -hmm. him. I said, oh, here goes that cloud chaser that's trying to ride a rave. You're not doing out here. You're not getting on. We see you. Bro, you ain't getting on YouTube when we do live. We're not acknowledging you on the Facebook. And you got, and matter of fact, he had to get blocked. So I had to, I mean, I had to. But that was, that's not all, trust me, okay? But it was him that I had to get at. Let me ask I you a question. Since I first started watching the show, since you first yeah. came on, you first called in, haven't you noticed a trend and have you ever thought about why that trend has happened? What you you get attacked a whole By lot. Me? Mm, yeah. I do. Why? In your your opinion. Um well, people attack attack truth. If I was really the panderer that some people be trying to say, well, this is my opinion. Um, if I was really trying to pander, I wouldn't be pandering to men. I would pander to women. They're more economically sound if I was trying to sell something. I ain't got nothing to sell. I got nothing but me. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I, I totally agree with that. I totally agree yeah. with that. You come off so, as genuine. But you're not giving yourself enough credit either. I'm doing my I'm doing my black doctor feel since they say what that's what it is, you know. Because I actually, you know, I thought about that when I first came in the show. Oh, the first thing I did was spoke yeah. to everybody, and I ran down a critique of everyone. That's how me and Rilla, he was like, oh, where you from? And I'm like, Chicago. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you have an energy about you. You have a, a, a you, you're genuine. And it's, it's, it's plain as day from the second you, you speak. Mm -hmm. It's obvious. Okay, she's actually uh, a genuine person. You're mm -hmm. attractive. You're smart. You're funny. And, and and your niche is this. And this is the one thing I like about you because you actually remind me of someone. You look damn near just like her. Janet With Jackson. the gap and all. Oh. No, hell no. <laughs> Janet Jackson. Holly yeah. Berry. No. Okay. You're doing it right now. That is what? cute and it's appealing. That that stick is a, is appealing to people. 
they see it. And some people are like, ah, they think you're a fraud. They think mm -hmm. you're putting on an act. Mm -hmm. They're thinking what you're saying, you don't really believe you're saying yeah. it to get clout yourself. Right. That's all. So yeah. just accept it as that. I mean, th that's exactly what it is. Because they, I mean, honestly, to find someone like you that agrees with Anton and the panel, 80, I'm just, I ain't even saying 100%. 80% of the time, mm -hmm. that is a rarity. they like, yeah, she lied. This is all sap. Yeah. She and trying to get her on. what I know is that Anton and JR had to talk me off the ledge. That's what people don't that. know. If I was doing this for clout, trust me. But they have to always, like, you know, they be, right? Yeah, look at, like, they, yeah, yeah, day. you look at, you look at, you, you got that look, your eyes squinted, like, uh, mm hmm. Oh, by the yeah, way, so you got to remember, so, during the show, like, your camera be on. So the yeah. little things you be saying under your breath, yeah, we get all <laughs> here. <laughs> you be like, oh, Jesus, here we go. <laughs> That shit is hilarious. I I'm do. telling you, it's hilarious. Man, they talk me off the leg because I'd be like, man, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. You just got in it, though. And they, and they, and, but they talk to me like you. And they talk to me like, man, you got to chill out. Like, yeah. you have to understand, like, man, your purpose is bigger. Like, you got, and I, again, it's a process. Like, I'm new, right? Yeah. So I'm not used to this. Oh, Wait, some rumors start jumping off. You gonna go crazy? Who waits till them rumors start jumping off? Oh, Lord have mercy! So you just want to put me back on the ledge? That's what you want me to do? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you just you want me to go ahead and walk out? Uh, 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 well, you know what, Courtney? If you don't say. like how my if you don't like how I'm presenting my message, I can't help you. <laughs> Sound familiar? Sound familiar? It does. Okay, all right, all right. We yeah, don't say anything. Is, we don't say anything. Yeah, it's, it's something of preparedness. The thing is, I don't, how do you get prepared? Listen to J.I. and that's And breathe. That's what, I, that's what I've been doing. That's why I'm still here. No, no, no. You're here because you're in demand. You are. Come on now. Seriously, y'all. I don't know about that. You don't think so? I don't know. Okay, now that's an honest answer. You don't know. You don't can't know. say that you're not. Yeah, I don't know. You can't. Okay, so I, I feel you on that. You are. You definitely are. Yeah, I think so. I think, I think, I think JR hit, hit a home run when he decided to bring you on the show. Mm hmm. Let me, let me clip Yo, that. boo. Yo, boo. He don't be acting right. <laughs> yeah, he, <do. laughs> he, he be yeah, on he the do. streets. He don't be acting right. His beer got him all extra. Okay, that beer. Yeah. You know, you know, it's he, not the beard. Yeah, it's not, not the. Bobbing. It's not. It's not the beard. It's not the beard. It's, it's the beard and the voice it's, and his hats and his glasses. What you just said was everything. <laughs> <laughs> what you just said was everything. Whatever. We just, we no, no. We what it is, is he, you don't have to get defensive. It was a joke. I'm not getting defensive. I'm just saying we were goofing around. Again, you are, I look, I'm nobody. I'm just somebody that jump on. I was having fun last night. I got a notification that you was on. I was like, let me and pop in and see on. what you're talking about. And, and you, when you, you were talking, doing. when you were talking, I was like, oh, yeah, I can just sit this down while I'm cooking. I, was, I enjoy this speech. I'm like, oh, she's making some really good points. I like this. And I'm like, you know what? When I saw uh, the other young lady that was on last night yeah. jump on, I'm like, because I really wasn't going to jump on. I was like, I'm just going to pop, pop on, you know what I'm saying, just to say, hey, save this for your show. So it lives on YouTube forever. Yeah, I gotta figure out how to make this a show for sure. Yeah, you it's... you definitely do. Yeah, you definitely do. I will. Anyway, I you seem apprehensive though. No, 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 no. Now don't get Hollywood when you get your following. You know, don't, just don't do that. You know, because I I can see that coming. I can see that coming. Yeah, you that type. 
Ooh, yes, you I, are. I've never been that tight. First, I'm too old to be that tight. What? Second of all. Okay, have you ever I'm heard not... of a young lady called Wendy Williams? What about Ain't her? That like, I'm just saying. You know. She's been doing, but Wendy, oh, she's a different breed. She's been doing this for 40 years. Like, she's, that's just her thing. My thing is never, I don't care about that. I, I, I just feel like God has a, a different purpose for me. And I just have to, my interview with Ron G um, that I just posted yesterday. Yeah, I was, means, yeah, I was looking at a little bit of that this morning. I mean, when I tell you he inspires me, he's been in the game for a long time. He has hella success. Um, mm -hmm. but his humility, his humbleness, his God-fearingness, it's just, he's like, well, I've known him for a very long time. So... And I surprised Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said like MySpace? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't even know how, but then once Facebook started, <laughs> my age, you know, he was like one of my first Facebook friends. And we was like, hey, I don't, you know, we're friends. And we were excited just randomly. Um, I went to one of his shows maybe a couple years ago. So again, I've known him for years. We follow each other for years, but I followed him because of his spirit. Mm hmm. You know, some people got a spirit about them that's just good. That's you. And, what are you talking about? Well, I'm, well, <laughs> well I, I'm, give, I'm talking about him because that's the reason why. Like, he never changed up. He's very, very humble. He's done great things. He's just a good Christian. Like, he's just good. Hmm. Okay, you ask you a question. I'm playing devil's advocate here. Uh, who you think inspired him? Um, before he started, I don't. I know what gives him inspiration now, which is his wife, but I don't know before. I mean, he's always been like Christian based, but I don't know. Oh yeah, you got to work on this for real, like like for real. You know, it's cute. It's the humility. Yeah, it's cute, but I mean, now you saying all the things that. All the attributes of him, which he does really seem like a cool brother. He really is. And that inspired you. Mm hmm What about your attributes? Well, <clears throat> well, you asked me what who has inspired him. I don't know. He inspired me because oh, okay. I see I see right. He inspired okay. me because I, I see myself in him. Where we're Christian based. You know, we want to be successful, but, you know, we ain't not talking, you know, we not that. We ain't bougie. I'm far from bougie. I mean, you tried huh? to tell me I wasn't hood. I got to <laughs> put this in me now. Hey, man, just because you put a hoodie on don't mean nothing. And it's pink. My, my hoodie's fly, though. You ain't fly. Yeah, it's cute. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you, I got you, I got you. But they ain't got nothing to do about you having no hood in you. <laughs> But anyway, so I see myself in him, and that's why I wanted to interview him. And uh, yeah, he inspires me, and that's and that's what he is. And he loves marriage. He's pro marriage. He love. He's open. Vern, like he'll tell you his story. Mm -hmm. I see myself. I I am him. Exactly. I I one hundred percent agree. Mm -hmm. That means give yourself kudos. That's all I was saying. That was the short of it. And and don't get offended by the hood thing. You know it's fine. Not to be hood, right? You know it's okay, right? Uh, but it's okay for me to tell you I got a little hood. It's okay. Uh, 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 I understand that. Yeah, I, that's cool. But it's just like the dude that did that, that did ten years. He thought it was cool until he did ten years. What an awesome story he had. Yeah, and guess what? He understood, like I said before, when he got in there. This ain't for me. I have family members. I like. I, I'm that. I'm that. That 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 pillar when it comes to my yeah. circle, you know, my number has been the same for a couple of decades, you know, because I I need to keep in contact with people, mm -hmm. you know, so I understand what you're saying, and that that's the energy that you give off. You give off that good spirit. You give off that Ron G vibe. You know, just capitalize on it. And don't let them frustrate you. I think that's the that's that's the only issue I have with you. Be mad. You be big mad. I mean, and you say it in so many words, but you gotta, you gotta understand and listen to people to pick up on it. 
You said out your mouth, man, I've been trying to catch this man online. And there you go. <laughs> Cam up. <laughs> You always I said, I've been trying to catch this man in these internet streets for about three weeks, and there he is. <laughs> oh, he on here? Oh, okay. All right. Cam up. I did. It I was did hilarious. It was I a great that. moment. It was funny. <laughs> but I, I knew you was dead serious. I knew I you were 100% honest. honest. You like, there you go. And you a gun enthusiast? What? Man. I did. I did. I did. But it was funny, though. I just know you really mean that. Because you don't seem like a a dishonest person. Mm -hmm. You don't seem like you playing for the camera. Yeah, if I was playing for the camera, I'd, <laughs> I'd be showing all of it. I'd be getting all the likes, okay? I don't even have a big following. Why would you? No. Well, you, you, but you do. I, I, what I'm saying is that if that was the case, that's what I'm saying. Like, I would not be putting my purse. Everything about me. Is you only did that recently. It's out now. And that was only because well, people were digging. I mean, you and they were digging that all. Did my baby daddy? That one, too. You did one prior to that. Come on now. I'm. I'm I'm a listener. I, know, I, I pay attention well, to things. So, no, um, in the show, I never got personal until I started my show, and that was strategic. I did not want to be personal because I wanted to tell my story. I didn't want someone, I got you. Oh, I got you. But that was the point I'm trying to make. Right, that's exactly the point. Of, they were trying. They were trying to throw shit out there, and that's the reason why I, I made the joke the other day about you saying, are you married? Because I've heard people say that several times like do you have do you have kids do you you know they they know the information they just try to throw it out to to paint a narrative yeah so i felt like it was smart for you to come out and tell your own story that's, that's that way my, nobody that's has to tell it for you my goal um that was always my goal and even with that i wanted to tell my story but i had to be prepared to tell my story because i knew telling my story i would get a huge backlash you think so? Oh, I have. <laughs> wow. If you search my name, wow. on, you'll see videos. Of wow. Stuff. And she ain't nothing but a baby mama. Why would anyone listen to her? She's trash. Uh, yeah. So, and I get these like, man, but, someone but, said, which is, it's fine. That, you know, it, and I, no, I, 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 I'm not, I'm not shaking my head. But I'm I not shaking that. my head at you. I'm shaking at my head at the scenario and the situation. Because that's terrible. I mean, one, everybody got a pass. Nobody on this planet Earth has, has, is 100% has perfect. Everybody then, then made mistakes and, 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 and maybe not handled things to the best of their ability. But that's where you learn and you grow from it. So what's the point in putting another person down well, when you ain't no better? Because that's what the internet streets do and again i had to prepare myself for that and um you know it's just preparation but i got more to tell i bet you I do tell it uh-oh y'all ain't hurt y'all ain't y'all i don't crazy. think i want to know you i don't think i want to know going to, but i mean it's all healing and it's, it's been bad it's just life life happens and so, true, anyway. true, true. Are All right, you well, let me get up out though. here. My yeah. fan is cold. And I'm yeah, hungry. Yeah. I am too. Uh, are you prepared for it is my last question. I'm trying to be. Well, be really? safe. How about that? You too. I'm cool. I'm six foot nine, <laughs> baby. <laughs> well, I'm five foot seven. That's all I got. Are you really? Yeah, I'm kind of tall. Many me, many me. I was in Nashville. Like you, I'm a tall girl because I was wearing pumps, and my pumps, I'm six foot. Yeah, you country, you call them pumps. <laughs> ah! I am. Hey, I, I got, mean, I can say stiletto, but I'm a pump. No, 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 no. I'm I know what you're saying. I'm that's, that's I have family in Birmingham, Alabama. That's some Joe Budden pump, pump up with. 
Okay. Anyways, I keep to my age. Bye. We'll See be you. talking soon because you know you're going to be on the show. Who, me? Mm, yeah, we'll talk about it. All right. Peace, sis. Good evening, my Negro. <laughs> 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 all right i have talked for an hour i gotta see if J oh lord my head is a mess let me see if jr can post this anton i'm gonna send this to you too that was a great conversation oh my gosh who knew that was dope and i enjoyed it so oh, that's nice so i posted a video last night me and ron g it was an amazing video like it's one of my best um it's a part one it's gonna be a couple parts i please watch it when i tell you it he really changed my perspective and how i've been kind of moving in these streets and sometimes you know it takes a conversation to get inspired and he inspired me so i know if he inspired me he inspired you guys too so i love that guy i love his marriage his love his dedication to his wife the dedication that she has for him and um, i think i mean I, I hate to say relationship goals i don't believe in that um but just the idea of what marriage is i think they invite embody it so um oh I appreciate that. I'm proud of y'all. Thanks for rocking with me, man. We, I got some ideas in my head, y'all. <clears throat> y'all just, y'all, y'all just rock with your girl. What's your name on Facebook? Beyonce knows. That's my name. <laughs> All right, I'm out. If no one else has any questions, I'm gonna eat my salmon that I think I burnt because I was talking with y'all all day. And I got to save this so I can maybe post it on YouTube. Let's see if this helps anyone. Maybe. All right. Bye, guys. Thank you so much.